Ala mashiropela kutimte kuchalichi. Kwenye wakuntazi, ni waka wakumasuka, pariposi ya pati ngeshitavichi, hapo tinaamuti. Ine, pa umoyo wane, nga kumbaga kuti niwe mai. Na sister. So my winning of Kumbang, of Manga, my old Uyenda, or the Nipalazilian Gavantu. Bugo, Laisayam Prophet. Namasher of Jose, Via Mushar of Vienge, Via Gutoa. Vantu, Vashuta, Ao, Vacaone, Kanga, Nipala, Wakatipata, Nashuta, Wao. Aya ni mazgo ya shiuta. Kwa kukumba kukumba, chifuwa cha kuti ono sonopano mchalichi wanyani nguwa rongozi yanga. Ine kukumba kuti ni manye kuti wanyitu wako Amerika wakutora serious cha wakila imitishenji. Bada ngolitu, balati kukumba kuti vindu visinti tiku muyendela mtu kushikaya kwake. Na kuka dumbisika na nayo. Bala ata dumbisika na nayo, mtu yola, ndi kutitampa sanchindi, haza kwenelea. Peter? Yeah. Anita? Anita? Mm. Nice to meet you. Raj, nice to meet you, Ed. Yeah. You can come on inside and cool off for a little bit. I do not care for row crop farming like the conventional farming. I grew up on a conventional farm. My dad was a conventional farmer. I feel there's a lot of health ramifications to conventional mm -hmm. farming. Mm -hmm. So uh, how are you seeing the climate affecting your farming? The climate change? Mm -hmm. You know, for us, it's not a topic of conversation. We see it more as a political agenda. Like the people that are talking about climate change with their business suits and and they have an agenda behind it, it doesn't feel like that's a day-to-day -day thing you think about when you're just trying to manage your farm. But we know the way we farm is healthy for our family and it's healthy for our land. So... We were conventional farmers, and we didn't want to do that no more. We didn't want to use Roundup. We didn't want to, any of the chemicals or anything that. So we took all of our row crop. Now it's pasture. We're using the regenerative practices of rotating our cows and, and building soil structure. Hello. Area farmers around us, you know, we're kind of noted as the odd, the odd ones. We do things different. If you would have asked me 10 years ago if we would have been certified organic, I would have said no. But Eli being born with a heart defect, <laughs> when the nurse asked me what we had been exposed to six months prior to even pregnancy, that's really what has gotten us changed to a different way of farming. It wasn't until we had that personal experience that we realized that we needed to change. And I don't think everybody experiences that. Oh! <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for our guests here tonight. Uh, we ask, Lord, that you would bless our travels for them, uh, provide safety and health. Uh, we just thank you for this food and providing for us, Lord. Uh, we also ask that uh, you would bless our conversation. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. What's your church? Uh, Reformed Presbyterian. 
That's the church I also go to. Mm. And we're required to be uh, good stewards. You know, so that's why we farm the way we do. Because ultimately mm -hmm. it's not our ground. Yeah. It's God's ground. Yes. Mm. Our church, they asked us, you know, is there something that we could pray for you? And we told them some of our farm concerns. We've had an incredibly hard year this year financially. Our off-farm jobs support the farm versus the farm supports the farm. So I'm a school nurse. Mm -hmm. I work at a coal-fired power plant. You know, there's, it, it's pretty clean, really, but... But when uh, I know you, you mentioned earlier on that when you heard climate change, you, you, you know, you, what you hear is a men in suits with an agenda. What, what is that agenda? I feel that people make farmers like the, the bad guy. They just look at big industrial farms and say they're the reason we're having problems. Where in reality, it could be because lifestyle things that we do are causing the problems. <laughs> I was just curious if it's always been that way or if you've noticed a change. Like on the weather, when we watch yeah. the news on TV, they'll talk a lot about weather trends. and um, You can see certain blocks of years, the weather seems to trend to do this. You know? But there will still be a difference between weather, which can lead a change the way it can, and climate change. This is climate change because things have been changing over the years. January, February, we used to have heavy rains. Now, sometimes rain is not there. Sometimes sometimes it doesn't rain. Sometimes it doesn't rain. I cannot express to you how humbled it's made me feel to hear your struggles because it has made me realize that my little daily struggles that we may have with our animals, our finances, um, are nothing compared to your daily struggles. And I'm sorry for that. I would leave with the word that Jesus left his disciple to say that peace be with you. And as you live, that there is also climate change. So you could help us in spreading that word that maybe we could save more lives. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't think people should feel guilt. They shouldn't feel guilt. Sometimes you waste time with the guilt. You know, I'll, I'll probably lay in bed tonight thinking about it. And, uh, you know, my thoughts and opinions will probably be different tomorrow than what they are today, just from processing it. Yeah. Climate change. change. The monastery is a Sharon Nacho Chukumba Pereca, Genam to Perecera is a paradarwa.